Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hey, I'm back, man. Uh, I just want to talk for just a couple of moments, man, about uh, Man of Steel, the sequel, uh, Superman vs. Batman, and also I want to talk about Justice League. Um, with the uh, DC Comics Cinematic Universe, I just want to talk about a couple of things that will absolutely ruin this sequel, man. First off, man, let's talk about with uh, Gail Gadot, man, um, playing Wonder Woman. If this role... And what I mean by this, if this role is not portrayed, I'm not even going to say, there's not even a possibility of it being portrayed um, um, bad, but I, I'm saying that if there is a such thing as a love triangle between Superman, Wonder Woman, and um, Lois Lane, or Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, if there's any of that going on, if there's any type of, um, I'm not going to say, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of flirtatious you know, uh, <laughs> on-screen um, um, chemistry between Superman and Wonder Woman. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, we've seen that with the uh, Superman uh, Wonder Woman uh, comic that's that's currently out right now, and um, we've also seen that in the past. Obviously, you know, two um, I guess you can say let's call them immortal people, um, uh, godlike people that can fly around the world and um, you know have awesome powers, obviously they're going to have something in common, but there just doesn't need to be um, any of that, there doesn't need to be a conflict between Lois Lane and Wonder Woman, there doesn't need to be jealousy between Lois Lane and Wonder Woman, um, what needs to happen on screen, man, is, is they need to interact with each other, man, like Lois Lane needs to have a bigger um, role, man, and what I mean by that is that she should be able to help out, just like she helped out a man is still, but I'm talking about even on a more massive scale, man, they should show the, the courage of Lois Lane, man, and hopefully Amy Adams gets the opportunity to do that, um, too many characters, too many characters introduced inside of this, uh, this sequel, man, that's what's going to ruin Man of Steel, uh, the sequel, and, uh, obviously, right now, I have, I have no problem, like, I, I absolutely trust Zack Snyder, man, like, I always say, man, with that hashtag, in Zack Snyder we trust, and that's it, you know, but, you do start to worry, because there are a lot of, of different characters, man, like, there's, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane, to be honest, man, um, there's even, there's even talk now, and obviously this is just rumor, but there's talk of, of, of people that were in Man of Steel 1 that didn't die not returning, um, one of the big ones is, uh, General uh, Swanwick, man, that's, I think that's absolutely insane, and I think that not having him return is just foolish, because at the end of Man of Steel, he says, you know, General, you need to convince the people on, uh, on, uh, in Washington that, you know, I'm, I'm here to, uh, to be at help, you know, but obviously on my time, so, if he's not returning, <laughs> then <laughs> what's, the, what's the whole point of that last uh, scene? Now, obviously, man, some things have occurred, man. Uh, years have passed. Um, I think that it's like a year or two, or maybe even three years, uh, since the end events of Man of Steel. And uh, Metropolis is, being, is probably going to be rebuilt, or being rebuilt at that time. They'll show Superman helping. Hopefully, they'll have a couple flashbacks with him helping out, and maybe even um, them putting up some type of uh, statue. Obviously, I don't see that happening. What I, what I think is going to occur is that there's going to be like this anti-mutant type feel. And what I mean by mutant, I mean anti-Superman, anti-alien, um, anti-all that stuff, man. It's going to be, I guess, pretty much like we've seen in X-Men. But hopefully, they don't go that route. Um... Another thing, man, um, if they don't, here's the thing, this is a Man of Steel sequel, I don't, I don't believe that there is a need to have a, a reintroduction of Batman, we know where Batman came from, we know how he became Batman, they just need to go right into it, so that's another thing that will absolutely destroy this movie, and it's gonna make it feel, um, I, I guess it, it'll make it feel just like, uh, like Iron Man 3, man, you know, that they're kind of rehashing, you know, stuff that we already know, and, and it just makes it really like a boring experience, man. They need to get Batman into the fight immediately, there needs to be a conflict immediately, and um, there needs to be conversation between Superman and Batman. We need to know why they're fighting, we need to feel that, and if they just have us, you know, um, rehashing, you know, oh my gosh, Batman, um, you know, how, how, how did he become Batman? Um, um, what makes him be this awesome Batman at, at such an old age. Nobody wants to, I don't care about all that stuff, you know, I don't think anybody wants to see that. We, we already know why he's Batman, we know that he's older now, let's just get right into it, man. Um, I'm really excited, man, like seriously, I, I've been watching uh, cartoons, man, uh, the Justice League, I've been watching uh, Superman vs. Batman, uh, or excuse me, Superman Batman the movie, um, 
<laughs> and just getting pumped up, reading some comics, man, and just kind of getting ready for this this adventure, man. So yeah, that's that's my take on it, guys. And uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna upload a couple more of these things right here, guys.